hello my dear friends how you all are doing today uh, i wish you all a very very happy healthy and prosperous new year 2024 uh, so we are at the end of 2023 so have a great celebration on the new year uh, today what we are going to cover is we will continue our lesson on aws cloud Trail service that we had uh, in the previous one i will share the link in the description so basically uh, just give you to give you a recap what AWS CloudTrail is, AWS CloudTrail is a service that enables, help us enable operational and risk auditing, governance and compliance of the AWS account. Okay. So today's session is in the continuation of AWS CloudTrail. We will have a demo part of that and we will understand how AWS CloudTrail works, how it captures the activities and all those things. Okay. So uh, this is going to be a very interesting uh, very interesting session please continue with me till the end okay so now let me directly jump into my aws management console as you can see i have logged into my aws management console okay now where you will find the aws cloud services you can go to services you can go to management and governance and here you can see lots of services and cloud is one of the service and it's state track user activity and api usage okay so i will click on cloud trail yeah now you can see there's a little bit information on this page and you can directly go to aws uh, creating a trail here so as we know trail is something like uh, it's one of the type where we can record the activities so if you remember as we covered in the session there are three activity types uh, three uh, ways we can uh, record the session one is event history okay navigating to event history then creating cloud trail lake and another was creating a trail okay so uh, we won't be going here i'll uh, tell you why basically if we cl click on this cloud trail so it won't give us much options okay so rather than that i can go click on this and here you can see there are lots of options okay so you can see it's a dashboard event history insights lake trail setting all the things are here okay so say for example if i click on event history so for uh, with respect to event history uh, the events will be there up to 90 days so it states every uh, event history shows the you the last 90 days of management event okay so here you can see what all events so everything like say for example delete a trail if i click on this one you can see it will give me uh, resources reference like this is the type aws cloud trail trail what is the resource name aws config resource timeline everything and event time it will give me the details you know when the username was as a root are deleted okay then the name of uh, event is delete trail so basically i had deleted a trail and it has been captured inside this one then aws key uh, access key source ip everything it will be there okay as well as region so if you scroll down you can see event records it will create the event record in a json format okay so you can see this one so this is what uh, we can find in the event history so there are different different uh, e event types as you can see say for example uh, say if i want to search say for example okay here look up attribute attributes as read only aws access key all those things okay here if i want to find by resource type okay so we can find it here by resource type otherwise if i need to find by resource name or username okay so you can see it has been sorted as with respect to username okay so this is not only the user it will capture the service okay a uh, role uh, by which it has been performed and everything will be captured inside this one we can also download the events either in csv as json format and we can also create an athena table so athena will be for you know running the interactive queries on this one okay now we can click on insights here we can uh, here it will show cloud trail insights is not enabled insert event collection requested trail additional charges apply so we will discuss on the uh, uh, pricing part okay 
so we need to create a trail okay like that <coughs> if we go to lake again in the lake we can see we need to create a dashboard okay we can some queries so how it works like everything we have so again a cloud trail lake is something that uh, we can capture the api activity that happens okay and it will give us the in the depth okay even data stores integrations everything you'll see like under integration uh, how it works like you know in add integration step one is add integration integrate with an available partner application or create custom application integration then six step two is receive event third is to run the sql queries for analytics okay then we can click on trails as you can see here if i click on trail so now i'll show you see if we had directly gone to the creating trail so there's a, a bit you know a, a slight difference here it will give us more option okay here as i can see there are no trails to display okay so i will click on create trail now i can give any name say ms01 or class with trail okay trail01 link okay something like that enable so we can see enable for all account in my organization if we want if we have uh, an aws organization and lots of uh, different different accounts inside that so we can create or enable for all accounts okay if we want to see we can click on see all accounts it will open aws organization page okay as i have aws organization page and i have some other accounts as well inside that so here we can see okay aws organization as you can see here group account and everything okay then we can click on AWS account invitation we can invite okay we can do all those things we can invite an AWS account inside so we'll cover the AWS organization in the uh, you know in, de in detail in the upcoming session I want to go to that part now so now I'll just click on close here now as we are on the choose the trails attribute name I have given I won't enable this one store in location as we know it will be stored in the s3 bucket and additionally to the cloud watch logs okay so we have two options we can either create a new s3 bucket or we can use existing s3 bucket if i click on use existing bucket so here it will so, uh, trail log bucket name i can click on browse and let me select say this trail okay and click on choose okay prefix is optional logs will be stored in aws cloud trail log that is this one okay inside if we want we can say create cloud with trail zero so this is something else prefix or folder inside this s3 bucket it will create a folder okay log file ssh encryption so encryption is something that we can enable okay it's enabled if we want we can create an, uh, a new uh, or click on existing okay like that so we can give and if we have our existing kms key we can choose this one we can give a name as the encrypt something like that this is alias okay kms key and s3 bucket must be in the same region that is fine now additional setting we have log file validation if i click on this info button here you can see a little bit information here to determine whether a log file was modified deleted or changed unchanged after aws cloud trail delivered it use cloud trail log file integrity validation this feature is built using industry standard algorithm sha 256 for hashing and sha 256 with rsa for digital signing okay for log file validation choose enable to have log digest delivered to a amazon s3 bucket you can we uh, use the digest file to verify that your log files did not change after cloud trail delivered them so basically it will create something called as log digest okay and based on that we can get to know whether these files are modified or not okay so that is it i'm not going to do that so let me go with the default one sns sns notification delivery sns is again if you are aware this is this is simple notification service service so 
for sns notification for every log file delivery choose enable to be notified each time a log file log is delivered to your bucket cloudtrail stores multiple events in log file when you enable this option amazon s3 notification are sent for every log file delivery to your s3 bucket and not for every event okay so it will group uh, these notifications uh, for a lo every log file and not rather you know uh, individual event so that is for that i'm not going to do that i will go to cloud overflow log this is optional as we know we can also configure cloud overflow log so monitor your trail log and notify your specific activity occurs okay standard cloud watch and cloud watch log charges are applied so this will be charges will be applicable i'm not going to do that key value is something I'm not going to do i'll simply click on next now here under event it records a api key for individual resources so there are three types of event management events data event and insight event so management event it will capture the management operation performed on your resources so as we know it will be more kind of you know, operational activities under will be captured under management event data event it will log the resource operation performed on or within a resource so it will be more with respect to specific to the resource like say if we have still bucket the name and all those relevant detail with respect to that okay insights event is something that it identify unusual activity errors or user behavior in your account okay so these are three types we can go with the management event for now management event show information about management operations so basically this is more operation perform a resource in your AWS account no additional charges apply to log management events in to, on this trail because this is your first copy of management event okay we can capture the api activity such as choose the activities you want we can either read or write activity or if we want to exclude kms event we can select on this one okay if we want to select or exclude amazon rds data api event we can select this one okay so based on our requirement we can create the table i'll just simply click on this one and click on next so now this is kind of summary page this is a review and create here we will see what is the name this is a multi-region trail as we know it will be based on you know, all this region it will capture to this one trail location will be this s3 bucket Log file as a SSE KMS encryption is enabled and KMS key is encrypt. Okay, so these are all the things. Log file validation is enabled and we didn't select the SNS module and notification delivery since it is disabled. We haven't selected CloudWatch log, so hence it is no CloudWatch log groups. Okay, and that's it. it. And we selected API like read and write of everything. Okay, we can go down and click on create. So it will give me an error that specified KMS key was not found in the same region as the target S3 bucket. So we need to have say KMS key should be in the same region as the S3 bucket. So that is absolutely fine. Okay. That's it. And we can cancel this one. Okay. So basically I wanted to just show you what are the you know things we can ca capture here and we can take a look in the events history and all those things. Okay. So even right now whatever we got the error okay you can see start locking put s3 bucket policy and everything will be here okay so run instances for example okay you can see when it was performed on the december train okay as a route and even more run instances so i try to run to move the instances so that is it so that is it and right we can also see the cloud pricing as you can see this is the pricing we had also covered in our demo uh, theoretical part here first of all let's see uh, AWS free tier inside the free tier we can see AWS uh, uh, event history you can see uh, this is you know 90 uh, most 90 days of your accounts control plan activity at no additional cost using cloud to the cloud console then for the lake we have this limit 5 gb ingest scanning of 5 gb and retain data no additional cost trails we can deliver one copy of your ongoing management event to your amazon s3 bucket for free okay now what will be there under paired tier so we will let's see on this one if we have lake 
so for with respect to leg these are the things which are applicable okay as you can see data ingestion data retention and everything with respect to trails let's see what are covered in the pay so it will be pay as pay for only what we use no minimum fee is required okay features management even deliver to amazon s3 so it will be pricing will be two dollar per one lakh management event delivered after free copy okay so after the free copy we have to pay two dollar per ten uh, one lakh management events okay data event delivered to amazon s3 so with respect to data event the price is less as you can see it is just point ten dollar per one lakh data events delivered okay so that is about it so here they have given some example so you can take a look into that we can also see, see about insights so under insights for cloudtrail insights choose which event to analyze and pay as you go you can enable cloudtrail insights event in your trail or your cloudtrail lake event data store you will be charged separately if you enable insights for both the trail and cloud trail lake events data so the will be enabled uh, charge for both okay if we have selected both and what are the feature insights is 0.35 per 10 1 lakh event analyze so this is based on analyze per insight type okay, okay. so that is about insight so again they have given some example you can go through this one and additional pricing resources okay so if you want uh, we can go to the additional to this pricing calculator so with respect to this we will give to me so you can see okay all those examples they have given or everything is there on this page so please go through this so we'll get to know in detail so friends that's it for today i just wanted to cover uh, aws uh, cloud trails you know demo part and i hope uh, this information was somewhat useful for you to get uh, uh, to know how the cloud trail captures the events and it is very important feature and basically this is just to perform the auditing okay so that is main purpose of this uh, amazon cloud trail so that's it for you uh, uh, today friends and uh, thank you so much for your time please uh, don't forget to like share comment and subscribe to my youtube channel this is cloudy to and uh, thanks a lot for your time again take care bye bye